So, today we are going to band a Bell's Vireo, and this is your how-to. Say what? Oh, do this part now. First, she's getting the band ready. We know what size this bird is, and so we know which band size she used, namely a zero A, or sorry, zero. Um, these are the banding pliers. They're fun. There's only two people in the world that make these. Are there? Yes. I didn't know that. Now, what she's doing is reaching in with her non-dominant hand to get the bird into a bander's grip. The bander's grip consists of your non-dominant hand and basically sticking your bird's head in between here, like so. Um, it doesn't harm the bird, but it's nice and tight and secure, but it also gives the bird room to breathe, the bird to room, the room for the bird to do whatever it wants to do, minus escape, of course. Hey, you missed the band. We got the band on the left leg there. Band goes on the left leg. Eight zero. Eight zero is correct. She's giving off the band number. Zero BVI. BVI. A It's a four-letter code that there are different codes for each and every bird. Next, she's going to measure the wing. Okay. The more migratory a species tends to be, the longer the wing length is. I'm pretty sure they, they stay. Ah, and you're aging. Aging now. Yes, we're aging. We're no. aging the bird. So it goes up to there. By measuring the amount of a certain so plumage eight, characteristic. 1,008 millimeters. And what's, what's that uh, primary called? That little primary? That little, little feather, feather there, there is actually not a primary. It's that is an augule. That is the thumb. Right. That's right. The thumb. Of a bird. Birds have thumbs, believe it or not, ladies so and gentlemen. Are you measuring the length of it? Yes, the yeah. length of it from this point to the point when these... But does this say by age? Wing morphology, bells for you. Okay, that's to tell the species, okay? If it says by age under there, so we use that... So we look at the age um, here. Hey, you know. We're using the Piles Guide to Aging. The Piles book is pretty much the Bible for bird banders, more or less. So here's the older birds. Okay, we're looking at coverts, probably. Yep. Right. The coverts are the right. feathers on the edge of the wing, or covering the wing feathers here. Sexes are equal unless they're breeding. I will know that. So the fifth. age is what we're looking is the green or gray, gray edging, edging uh, is distinct. Very like indistinct gray edging. It's indistinct. Right if it's not distinct, then we probably have a second year. Second year. Narrow to really braided, brownish and indistinct, wow. relatively it's not green. Let's look for breeding characteristics. And outer eye retained, tapered, and relatively. Yeah, I'd say it's second year. Okay. And then ceased breeding. To do this, we blow. <laughs> Quite simply. Brood patch. Three on brood patch. Three on brood patch. The numbers on brood patch or flacal protuberance go by one, two, three, or zero. Zero on body molt. In zero other words, this, wing molt. this bird is not molting, but it is definitely breeding. And, and, and the brood patch makes it female? Correct. Correct. Female, female by brood patch. patch. Five. So when we recapture this Five in the fall. Patch. Well, no. Yep. Alright, we'll tether the scale and prepare that. Last thing we do. After checking for fat, which is basically consists of the same process of looking for a brood patch but looking farther up at the base of the neck. Clavicle area. The clavicle area, thank you, Anne. And the fulcrum. Fulcrum, right. Very good. Ten point one. And if we could get one oh, last view of this guy. Here, we'll put him back in the bag so we can properly uh, That's 10.1 grams. And how is that rate relative to the other bells that we've been using? Uh, 
I got a 10 2 up here. I can't see any sign of an egg. I got a 10 1. So I was going to look at next. That didn't look. Average. She's going to be okay. Checking to see if she's laying an egg or going to lay an egg soon. Yes. 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 Um, egg and Let me see. So we can. Look, look how there is a bulge here in the ovian. The skin's a little swollen, and that's how we know that it's about to lay an egg. And, and the feathers around the, the cloacea are the spread out. Cloacea, right. Are gone. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And here's our Bell's Bureau, done and ready to go, and ready to lay her egg. Probably her hand second up. Bye-bye, <laughs> <Bye> birdie. <laughs>